Maybe Foreigner doesn't know what love is, but San Francisco is about to find out what it's all about. Green Bay riding Jordan to the divisional round. There's love. Pressure. Back foot throw. End zone. It is caught for the touchdown. Dontavian Wicks. Oh my goodness. The seven seed Packers still alive, heading west this week to take on the top seed in the NFC, the rested San Francisco 49ers. All right, let's go now. It's personal with these boys. It's personal. They think they're coming in here and taking a us. No, they got to get smacked on. Okay, so this is the 10th time these two teams have met in the playoffs. Man, Cheeseheads loved this rivalry in the mid 90s, 96, 97, 98. Packers knocked the 49ers out of the playoffs each year. Okay, today's game, you defeated an outstanding football team in their place again under tough, tough conditions. Then from 2013 on, they square up four more times in the postseason. All San Francisco wins. We got a lot of guys here who generate a lot of toughness. And I love it. So we have some Sonny and Cher action here. They have history. Ten matchups to decide on, then you make your prediction in the comments section, starting with Jordan Love versus San Francisco's DBs. Love in his first playoff start ever, 16-21, 272 yards, 13 yards per attempt, three TDs, no INTs, a 157.2 rating, so the Niners can't face a hotter QB. Love in trouble, standing in, unleashes one to Dobbs, who makes the catch up to mid field a c from jordan love and dobbs another big catch today a rod and farv who love opened his first year as starter in grand fashion opened his playoff career in grander fashion he did that against a top five secondary on the road here is love floats one over the middle dobbs catching and down to the one as he beat Deron Bland. Has to run it back now. San Francisco secondary, one of the best in 2023. A sub 80 rating, 6.4 yards per attempt allowed. That was fifth best. 9.6 yards per completion allowed. That was first. 22 INTs, nobody had more. It's intercepted. San Francisco gets the pick. It's Ward high kicking it all the way. Touchdown. 49ers. Matchup number two, Traverius Ward versus Romeo Dobbs. Dobbs is probably Green Bay's most consistent, dangerous wideout. Six catches last week, 151 yards and a TD. On the fake, Love zips it in there, and it's caught for the touchdown, Romeo Dobbs. And the route is on in Dallas. Wow. Ward is a traveling cornerback. 72 tackles this season, five picks, 23 passes defensed, a low 70s rating allowed. He made second team all pro. Oh, delivers in to the other team. It's Tarverius Ward. Another interception. One of the best in the business. Loves other wideout options this week. Rookie Jaden Reed, Bo Melton, Christian Watson, all quiet last week. Rookie tight end Luke Musgrave, three catches, 52 yards and a touchdown. Wide open. It's going to be caught by Musgrave. Racing towards the end zone. He is in. Touchdown, Green Bay. Let's switch sides now for number three, Packers linebackers Devondre Campbell and Quay Walker versus CMC. Packers defense has to be able to defend the run, weren't tested on that front much last week. Held running backs to 4.1 yards per carry for 2023, middle of the pack. And here comes Williams. Stuff there, there's McDuffie again. Also getting a nice hit in there from Quay Walker. San Francisco's offense, third in yards per game, predicated on running eighth most and throwing less than any team in the league. Pitch it, McCaffrey, zigzag move, down the sideline, McCaffrey. Chunks of yards for the 49ers. Packers defense takes on the top running back in the NFL. Christian McCaffrey made first team all pro this season, almost 1,500 yards rushing, 14 TDs, 5.4 per run. Got a bruising block from Brandon Ayuk. Got another from Ray Ray McLeod. Turned it into a touchdown. It's a 65-yard lightning strike for McCaffrey. All McCaffrey has to do is hit 75 yards rushing. San Francisco's chances of winning jump way up. They're 10-1 and one this season when he hits that mark. Here's Christian McCaffrey running left, gets a seam, and has a first down, and still on his feet all the way across the 40. 
Oh, McCaffrey, just so tough. Green Bay did not struggle with Tony Pollard like we mentioned last week. Held him under four yards per carry. He was a four per run guy. Here another run. Pollard this time looking to bounce outside. There's just nothing there. Played well by the Packers and Kenny Clark. How about San Francisco's run defense versus Aaron Jones? That's our numero quattro. A.A. Ron versus Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner. Jones probably the hottest bat going. 118 yards, three touchdowns, 5.6 versus Dallas. Jones again. Running left, running up the middle and running for a touchdown. The third today for Aaron Jones. 110 plus rush yards in four straight for Jones, over five per run in four straight games. There goes Jones. Aaron Jones stiff arming. Punishing run. 26 for Jones. Warner made first team all pro. Him and Dre Greenlaw, 120 plus tackles each. I'm the guy! I'm him! Number five, Green Bay secondary versus BCB. Brock Purdy for 2023, the best statistical quarterback in the NFL. Completed almost 70% of his passes, 31 touchdowns, 13.9 yards per completion, over 250 yards per game, led the league in rating with a 113 mark. Purdy throws for the end zone, Ayuk is open, touchdown! Packers secondary he takes on, picked off Dak Prescott twice, held him to a sub-90 rate. Here's Prescott over the middle, it's gonna be picked off, and no one in front of him. Darnell Savage, touchdown. Now, the Packers weren't overly strong versus the pass this year, even if it was trash o'clock for much of the second half. They allowed over 400 yards passing to Prescott. Over 100 yards allowed to C.D. Lamb, over 100 yards allowed to Michael Gallup, over 90 yards allowed to tight end Jake Ferguson. Going end zone, Ferguson, and he makes the catch, and he's got another. Green Bay allowed a 105.8 rating two tight ends this year, 23rd, so not a strong point. So it brings up matchup number six, Green Bay's linebackers slash safeties versus the best tight end in the game. George Kittle, another 1,000-yard campaign added to his resume, another first-team All-Pro nod. Route 66, touchdown. Keep feeding the beast. You like the walk-in? I like the, yeah, the walk-in, the walk-in was the tip. Walk Matchup number seven, Green Bay's cornerbacks versus Debo and Brandon Ayuk. As stated by game's end last week, Green Bay gave up 100 plus yards to two different wideouts. They didn't play the pass or wide receivers overly well in 2023 either. Ayuk made second team all pro over 1300 yards. Deep down the sideline for Ayuk. He's got it and he's gone. Ayuk, Ayuk, Ayuk is on fire. Samuel almost racked up 900 yards, seven touchdowns. Wide open, Purdy to Samuel. Walk in, touchdown, San Francisco. Green Bay's pass rush versus San Francisco's O-line. Packers defense went up against a solid Cowboys O-line last week, sacked Prescott four times, hit him a principal Rooney nine times. Prescott, pressure, Preston Smith takes him down. Green Bay's pass rush, middle of the pack for 2023, and Prescott threw 60 times, so lots of opportunity. The 49ers don't throw much usually, they just make the most of it when they do. Their left tackle, Trent Williams, first team all pro. Here comes pressure, coming late from Washington. Purdy was protected, and Brandon Ayuk's got the first down inside the 30. Let's tab San Francisco's pass rush versus Green Bay's O-line as our big Ocho. Dallas sported the highest pressure rate in the NFL last year. Love sacked zero times, only hit three times. They neutralized Micah and company. Watch Aaron Jones. Parsons beats Zach Tom, the right tackle, but watch Aaron Jones. He's there to help his right tackle. And Packers left tackle Rasheed Walker and right tackle Zach Tom now take on Chase Young and Nick Bosa. No one had more QB hits than Bosa did. Hudson Howell was plenty of pressure from Bosa there. Young had seven and a half sacks. Mayfield is in trouble and sacked by Chase Young. Green Bay's interior linemen will also be tested. Niners defensive tackles Eric Armstead and Javon Hargrave. Hargrave seven sacks from the inside in 2023. 49ers front four is stacked, so much so they don't blitz much. He is so lightning quick inside for a guy his size. The reason this defense is so good is they don't ever have to blitz to get pressure. Number nine, fine is wine. So the turnover battle when San Francisco has the ball. 
That's their kryptonite this year, giveaways. Two turnovers in four games this year. No shock, one in three in those games. A turnover in every loss they took. Purdy steps through, floats it, he's picked, and that's it. Packers defense did not excel at takeaways in 2023, though. It wasn't a strength either. They did pick Prescott off twice last week, though. Prescott fires for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Jair Alexander. And coming in at number 10, special teams. Packers, Anders Carlson was solid for the year. No field goal attempts last week. Six for seven on extra points. San Francisco's Jake Moody, 21 to 25 this season. 60 for 61 on extra points, along a 57. Hey, everybody. Another Sunday, another Niner win, baby. Bang, bang. 49ers regular season numbers, elite on offense and defense. Packers, not so much, but good enough to be dancing. 49ers, 5-3 at home, so three of the five losses were at their crib. One was a Week 18 loss, though, with their starters sitting, so they were kind of 5-2, and two, really. 8-4 and four versus above 500 teams overall. Go, one seed, baby! Yeah. job everybody the rivalry continues explain what happens in this next chapter in the comments section won't you panel of 10 lay out how you think the game goes down won't you